Hi friends, good morning everyone. I came with one more uh, tip about the real time. I hope you are enjoying this new kind of videos. If you like our videos, please share and subscribe to our channel if you came to our channel for the first time. Today I'm going to tell you about transport request. Let us check that. I'm going to talk about uh, three critical points about transport request. First point about TR description. When you join for a support project or when you join for an implementation, when you join for a rollout project, first of all, you get the guidelines about the TR description from the basis team or from your project manager. You have to get the TR description, how to follow. For a project, uh, let's take support project. The TR description will be started with um, your ticket number and um, maybe your for initial name or certain kind of information or two, three digit. After that, the TR description, what you have done it. Or else completely your ticket name and the ticket description will be your TR description. So first of all, you should get the guidelines about the TR description. If you're an implementation, your project will have a code or company code plus the project code how your company has designed the TR description, you should follow because that is required for an audit. Based on the TR description, one can identify this TR belongs to the project TA. This TR belongs to this ticket. This TR belongs to respect to rollout project based on the project code. So you should know about the TR description, not something what you feel it. Sequence of TR. The sequence of TR uh, is very important when you're sharing to the business, you have to give that uh, all the TRs in sequence. If you are jumbling or if you're missing one TR, the fourth TR you have given as a second TR, then your configuration may get wrong. If there is a mutual common objects, for example, in the TR3, you have done a plant address change or you activated a negative quantity for a certain plant and moment of combination. But in the TR4, you have deleted that. But while moving, you have put it in TR4 as a second place and the TR3 in the next place. Then what happened? The finally, still it will have a negative activation. What I mean to say is if you have a list of TRs, you should know which TR should go first, which TR should go later. So the sequence of TR is very important as an ABAP consultant or as a functional consultant, you should share the TRs in sequence to the basis team so that they will move. They don't know which TR needs to go first, right? You are the person who are the owner of the TR knows that which TR should go first. So the sequence of TR is very important. Release the TR. Sometimes what happens, we see that funny kind of things, a uh, few consultants are sometimes maybe new or uh, sometimes maybe in the overlook. Uh, when they rush to move the TR to quality, uh, what they say is, uh, please move this TR to quality, but they forget to release it. Or else sometimes what happens, they will release the task, but they forgot to release the TR. So these kind of things will happen. So you should uh, release the TR before sharing to the call. So these kind of mistakes will generate a kind of impression that okay, this person doesn't have uh, proper experience or proper checking or uh, this kind of uh, small, small mistakes may make you a little bit uh, weird or uh, inconvenient stage, right? So I hope these three points are going to be helpful for you in your project. If I get any new ideas about the transport request, I'm going to come up with these real-time tips. If someone is having certain good points to share about the transport request, please put in your comments so that I will read it and definitely I will cover in the future. Thanks for watching. Just like it and subscribe before leave this video. Thank you.